to Toya Plus Curls. Today we're going to be doing a natural hair video. We're going to be doing a braid out on my stretched out already well stretched um blown out hair. So we're going to have a elongated um braid out today. So I blow dried my hair a couple days ago. I just wanted my hair to be elongated. Um I wanted my lens to show with my braid out and we're going to be we're going to have a defined braid out by the end of this. Um it's going to be very quick and simple. This is how I do it. Um Share in the comments how you do your braid out, but this is what, what works for me. I'm gonna be using um, an oil. I'm gonna put this on first, and then I'm gonna be putting on my melanin hair care. Um, this is the Long Lasting Definition Elong Twist Elongating Style Cream. I really love this stuff. It makes my hair pop like, I feel like this could be used on a wash and go as well. My this is Natural 85, a YouTube OG. This is her product. She has quality products that I actually support and I really love. And it's like a good product. So it's an OG Natural 85. I've been following her for a long time, like for years. Um, I also have her little um, sun visor. Like it's material is very spooky. Like it's like a scarf material and it says melanin on it. It's just really cute for the summertime. And then I have her um, head wrap. You guys seen this in my video before. It's a beautiful color, beautiful material. Like I said, quality products she has. I'm gonna link her um, website down below if you guys wanna go check out her product. I'm also gonna be using these little um, perm rods. I, I don't remember the diameter of these, but these are the blue ones, the fairly small ones. I think the pink ones are smaller than this one. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put it, this on the end of my braids. Enough rambling, that's just, Take off my scarf. See what we're looking like. Wow. That's a thumbnail. <laughs> um, let's, okay. Okay, yeah, this is what we're starting with. Low now stretched hair. Um, we're about to make a bomb braid out. So I'm just gonna use my comb first dropping stuff all over the place. But I'm gonna part my hair how I want it to be parted and how I want my, you know, my style to lay. I want a middle part or a side part. So I'm gonna do a side part, but not too deep. Just like this is perfect. I actually feel like I need to oil my scalp first. Let's do that. We're gonna use the Melanin Hair Care again, her uh, multi-use pure oil blend. Just put that on scalp. This oil is freaking lightweight, but it's so moisturizing. It's weird. Like, I hate oils that makes my hair feel oil. And I don't know. I just love the smell of it. I just love it. Massage my hair in. Um, oh, let me get the part too. So I like to do my braid outs and I, I like to braid on my scalp. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna make, I like to do medium size parts. So I'm gonna do about like this size. Actually, this is a little bit smaller than the rest of them. Just cause it's on the, the out, well the perimeter, like one of the face framing ones. I'm gonna put the rest of the hair in a pony. and work on this little section here. Yeah, this is not too big of a section at all. I'm gonna detangle. Detangle the section. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on the hair. A little bit, not too much. And then we're gonna put the cream. Like a dime size. 
working in the hair. Let me get a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? As naturals, we don't know a dime size. So to make sure it's evenly distributed. Get those ends. And then I just wanna take my Denver brush to help to, you know, get the product to all the strands. And I'm gonna use a little bit of Eco just to help with the definition, not too much at all. Yeah. And then, see as I'm already starting to get texture in the hair. That's how I know my hair is gonna be, um, gonna get that definition. I just like to put the gel on the edges so the edges are laid so they can be set. A bit more laid, and then I have my brush. I'm gonna brush the edges, and then we're just gonna braid. I'm gonna braid as tight as I can, and make sure I'm trying to limit the use of borrowing so much hair from each section. So just try to make sure your, your braids start with the even amount in each um, three parts in the braid. Detangle on the way down, of course, detangle. But you see, I'm braid as, braiding as tight as I can. That's gonna help with the definition later. Too easy. If you don't know how to braid on the scalp, it'll be also a bottom braid out if you just do, you know, regular plaits. So we're down to the bottom. And you just bring it down. Very easy, very self-explanatory. I'm gonna tangle a little bit. So I can need a little bit more products. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that cream. And this is also important to try to braid down the length of the hair. Cause they want the best definition as possible. And this is also a face framing piece. So let's not mess this up. Because the first face framing pieces mess up can ruin the whole style. My eye, y'all didn't tell me oil was coming down my forehead. Watch out for the oil that comes down. I just had to wipe it away from my eye because it started to get irritated. But we're done with that braid. And then I just made a second part for the second braid here. And then, you know, put the rest of the hair away. I'm gonna do the same steps we just did, okay? First, I'm gonna actually detangle a little bit.
Okay, we're almost done. We have one more part to go in the front. And this is the side. This is how it's looking so far. And I'm gonna finish braiding this one all the way down. A little bit more product. Oops. Okay. Ooh, pants slipping. Slipping. And. These two face framing parts or sections on this side, I tried to braid the, the braids going towards the uh, front of my face. I'll show you guys in a second what I mean. I just tried to braid it going towards the front, you know? So I'm gonna try to braid this one like that. Last section, didn't take long at all. I'm gonna leave these braids in probably, uh, maybe, probably a day and a half. If I could leave it in like two days, I would be happy with two days because I feel like the longer it sits, the more definition. So if you have two days, you know, to let the style sit, do that. If I have to go anywhere tomorrow, I'm gonna take it down tomorrow afternoon. If I have to go anywhere tomorrow morning, I'm gonna just wear my, one of my head uh, wraps and cover up the braids. So we're putting that cream on there. And then, then mini brush, smooth it. And there you have it, ladies and gents. Hoya's braid out. Actually, I'm gonna pull this one up a little bit. Okay. So this is what you should look like at the end. Um, so I'll come back to you guys in the morning or tomorrow and I'll show you guys what it looks like. But for in the meantime, take your head scarf and secure it for the night. And to sleep we will go. Okay, it's the next day. I did my makeup. Hopefully my hair is gonna come out cute. It is 5.16 the next day. I'm gonna take off the scarf. That's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna just take off the. Oh, that nice little curl. This is what I like to see. It's a little bit. 
And we're gonna start taking it down. I'm gonna start in the back. Let's see how it's looking. I'm recording multiple videos today because I'm looking cute. You gotta record a lot of videos when you're looking good because it's quarantine. A lot of the time I've been looking busted. So you gotta take advantage of us looking cute. I'm also gonna take some pictures. Ooh, looking, looking cute so far. The reason why I like to do the braids on the head versus like, you know, single fat, because it's already separated for you when you take it down. So too easy for me. That's why I like it. Okay, this is what I'm looking like so far. This is the last braid. Taking this down. Now I just wanna, let's lay the edges coarse and then I'm gonna pick, but I wanna lay the edges first. So I'm gonna use the edge booster, this is all I got. This is okay, I ain't the best I've ever had for edge control. And then I'm gonna put it on my edges. I'm about to try to lay these baby hairs to the gods. So let's hopefully get it right. A bit more up here. Okay. Edge brush, where, where you at? So I have a double sided one. We're gonna use this part. <laughs> Terrible. But them edges, though, I would see. Should we lay the other side even though you can't see it? Wanna get rid of those lines, those parts in the hair. And that was the end of today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. But thanks for watching. Twinkle Curls out.